Hello, and thanks for checking out ChartGuys.com. We're proud to be one of the most successful technical analysis communities online, teaching you the skills to become a more confident, effective, and informed trader. Join our community of hundreds of analysts worldwide working together to learn the charts, generate profit, and achieve financial independence. Sign up for a one-week free trial, no credit card required, for access to daily live chart analysis and market coverage, a thriving chat community, along with dozens of hours of exclusive educational materials. We look forward to seeing you. Let's check out some charts. Checking in on PCLN, NVDA, Netflix, Tesla, and CMG. So PCLN, to start it off, had some nice follow-through, and we did hit the upper Bollinger Band and the 100-day moving average resistance and reject. But we have our higher low and higher high in place. So if we do consolidate from here, we will be looking for a higher low anywhere above 1838. And that is our level to be watching to remain the strongest. But even then, as long as we hold above 1806, it is a clear higher low. So that's what we're looking for. The upper Bollinger Band needs to ascend to create room to the upside, which it will begin doing now that we are no longer in a tightening range. And that will happen towards the end of the week. We'll start to see that slope up. But healthy consolidation would not be a surprise at these levels. And it would be welcomed as long as we continue to see higher lows and higher highs with the bulls maintaining control. Weekly middle Bollinger Band needs to be closed back over to become support 1881. And the bull break already occurred from that inside bar from last week. So the bulls regaining some control, slow and steady. And just watching to see if they can keep this pattern up. The middle Bollinger Band is leveling out. It will begin ascending towards the end of this week as well. And that's the level the bulls want to hold. NVDA. Bulls bought the dip. We saw some notable weakness, which stood out as we had market strength today. And usually when we have market strength, we have NVDA strength. But bulls bought the dip and closed near the high of the day. We're looking up towards the all-time high. It's 170, 17190, and then up to 172.51, and then 174.41, the all-time high. So a few more resistance levels to get through. About 3% from where we currently stand would get that new all-time high. And we have... A clear higher low pattern intact. Anything above 162.71 will be a higher low, and then we'll look for follow through. Weekly time frame extremely strong. Exponential moving averages are holding as support, and there is no red flags here on this weekly time frame as of right now. So as long as the market stays strong, we will anticipate NVDA to do the same in the semiconductor sector. Netflix bulls on absolute fire, and they saw a big time move and big time follow through. So from here. We're looking up at 185.33, the high of today, which we close right at. And then from there, there's not much resistance. We're looking up at 190 and then the all-time high, 191.50. We're in breakout mode. We've been in full-on bull mode now for three weeks. And we can anticipate short-term healthy consolidation is always not too far away. And if we lose the upper Bollinger Band, we will look for that to play out. But as of right now, it's all bull momentum in the weekly time frame after the bullish reversal candlestick. After that consolidation, bulls have not looked back at this point. Tesla on the daily time frame, also seeing follow through, but also seeing an upper wick of profit taking, rejecting from the upper Bollinger Band. So we'll look to pull back and form a higher low. The upper Bollinger Band too will begin ascending and creating room because we are in a tight range and we have now broken that range. And with the volatility, the, Bo the Bollinger Bands widen a bit. So if we do break the low today, 360.40, we'll look to see a higher low form. The middle Bollinger Band is going to begin ascending again. And we are looking for the bulls to remain in control. Weekly charts certainly favoring them. It's now just 370. The bulls have to get over 370. And then we'll be looking at that all-time high. So very strong overall. Just a little bit of profit-taking, similar to PCLN. CMG, bull break of the inside bar today, but nothing bullish unless we break 321.58 in terms of prolonged bounce. We have our low, we have our higher low, and then we need to get a higher high by breaking 321.58. And until that happens, bears definitely still have control overall the weekly time frame exponential resistances are still intact have not seen much follow through again it's going to take a higher low which we have by one or i should say by three dollars 296 to 299 and then we need the higher high by breaking 321.58 and trying to see these exponential moving average resistances get some follow through so that's what we've got heading into tomorrow i appreciate you watching the market bulls are in full control closing up at the all-time high and we'll see if they can get some follow through tomorrow a bit cautious on a gap up open that would be a bearish reversal three gap up pattern which would indicate the bulls are a bit exhausted to the upside so keeping an eye out for that but otherwise bulls on parade we'll see you tomorrow